Hi everybody, it's Craig for Get Out There Magazine at the Box of the 10 mile and 4 mile race. If you weren't here, here's what you missed. If you've had enough food, presents and guests in your house, then this event is the perfect excuse to get out for a few hours. You can choose to race 4 or 10 miles and everyone starts at the same time. City Hall has lots of free parking and it's a short walk to the YMCA and race headquarters. As usual, it's a great setup inside with lots of rooms for the 800 or so runners to stay warm before and after the race. But in contrast to the frigid temperatures from last year, it was a perfect day to race. The police had all the major intersections controlled through downtown and at high noon we took over the roads heading downtown to Bayfront Park and along the water. The four mile race gets just a taste of the paved trails, but the 10 mile continues all the way around and up the hill on Longwood before doubling back. The warmer temperature and dry pavement made for fast times. The women's 10 mile record was bested by more than two minutes and the top three men broke the old course record. The finish line had the classic snowman medal waiting for each of us, along with a warm blanket, which is always a perfect touch for a winter race. And of course, fruit and tomato soup were available back at the YMCA, and your race bib got you a complimentary beer at the Pheasant Plucker, just around the corner. This year's complimentary item for registrants was a pair of race-themed arm warmers. The Boxing Day run is the perfect tonic to a season of excess, so if you haven't run it before, or it's been a few years, it is definitely one you should consider next year. You might even want to dress up and just enjoy running with hundreds of other like-minded people. I'm Craig for Get Out There Magazine. I hope to see you out there sometime soon.